This one is knocked out too, girl. I wish I could be knocked out. I never get sleep anymore. Uh, tell me about it. I had to put on some makeup so I wouldn't look dead with you being over here. Girl, you do not have to do that for me. What are you talking about? I know how it is. Look at you. You look so natural with mother. Mother <sighs> looks good on you. Well, thank you. I have to say that I'm in a really good space. I'm very happy. Happy with my baby. Happy with my man. <laughs> yeah, that is good. I'm glad to see you happy. How you doing? I'm good. But speaking of space, now that I have a son, there's no space in this apartment. Like, he has too much stuff. I have too much stuff. It's like he can't even get his own space to, I mean, I guess he's brand new. But eventually, he's going to need his own space. Yes. I'm starting to figure out this apartment is not big enough for the two of us. I just feel cluttered. I completely understand. I mean, yeah, when they get older and toddlers just start running around, you definitely need a little more space, but this apartment is nice, you know? I was actually just talking to Anthony the other day about having my own space. You know, he told me that the house is just in his name and the business name, and I asked him a long time ago to put me in the deed, but he said he couldn't because of the way he structured the deal. Mm. Yeah, and I was just really concerned about making sure that me and little man have our own space. Just in case anything ever happened to Aunt. You what know? do you need your own space for? That's a huge house. I know, but if something happened, Shayla, it wouldn't be my house. I would have to go through the courts and maybe fight whatever family is living of his. and mm. I just didn't want to go through all that. Mm. So I asked Anthony to buy us a new house. And he is, huh? He agreed. <laughs> he said that he would do that. What? Well, yeah. Anthony's buying you another house? Yeah, girl. He showed it to me. It is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. And, you know, we're going to use it as our second place because it's closer to the bar and everything. So we don't have to drive all the way out to our house every night. Or, you know, when we work late, we don't have to be on the road. Like, Shayla, I, I don't know if it was me losing the baby or us bringing this baby home and, you know, him seeing his first child. I, he's just different. He's changed so much. Mm. Like, anything I want, he does. It's like he's, it's like his desire to please me. Mm. You know? And so I, he bought you a whole new house. He did. You, <laughs> him, and your and adopted son. Um, bought a, a new house for you guys. Mm -hmm. Shayla, with all due respect, I would love for you to address little David as my son because he is. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I um of course he's your son. Yes. I I definitely respect that. I'm sorry. I just um yes, was just thinking about my baby and um yeah, so I yeah, I'm sorry about that. Your son. Yes. Well, I'm sure Mike will buy you a house one day. Girl, Mike ain't buying me no house. <laughs> oh, let's let's get serious. Okay. Mike is nice, but I don't I don't think he's buying me a house. And, and we know Arby's not buying me no house. We don't know that. Just be a little more positive. But yeah, for well, now, you can come over and visit us in our new place. <laughs> Yeah. I sure will. <laughs> I definitely will. Well, Amber, I'm I'm very happy for you. Your Thank new you. home, your new son. Oh and that I need a baby guardian. Is it you know what? You relax. I'm gonna put him down. I'll take care of him for you. Oh no. no yes, you, you need to own. get some you need to get some rest. Get some rest. Relax. Oh, we'll go check on him, huh? We'll go check on the baby. Yeah. Yes, you will.